Hey guys, it's Abby, and today I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. It is Sunday. I'm gonna put this up on Sunday, I think. I think I'm gonna put it up the same day. I was going, I was thinking like, what video can I put up? I did a favorites video a while ago, but I haven't downloaded it from my camera to my phone yet to edit it. And I was like, what video can I make? That's not an unboxing video. I have an itchy nose. <laughs> and I was like, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I need to put up a video, but I don't know what I'm gonna put up. So my kids and I went to the Dollar Tree and I decided that I'll show you guys what I got. It's nothing special, it's just stuff from the Dollar Tree, but I love these videos. I love watching these videos. I love going to the Dollar Tree. So I figured I'd show you guys what I got. I hope you guys are doing really well. I'm sorry for the lack of videos lately. I had pre-recorded a ton of videos. So I haven't actually sat down to record a video in like two weeks. Um, but then I just had so much going on. There was a lot going on and I didn't even have time to edit or like edit the videos I made and put them up. And now it's pretty late in the month. So I don't know if I'm going to put any of those up, but maybe I will. I'm not sure yet. Um, so I hope you guys are doing really good and let's start this haul. Okay, so the first few things I'm going to show you are just typical things. I got the Pillsbury traditional chocolate cake mix right here i really like this cake mix it's super good and then i got the funfetti premium cupcake mixes i got two of these i think these make like 12 cupcakes so i got two boxes i love funfetti cake it's one of my favorites i'll probably make one box as cupcakes and then the other box a small cake i got two things of the funfetti vanilla icing and um i love that you can buy the icing to go with cupcakes I got two of the chocolate fudge, right? Chocolate fudge? Yeah. I got hair in my eye. I got two of the chocolate fudge icings to go with the chocolate cake or the vanilla cake. Either one. I got a little cute jar of the Kraft Jet, Jet Puffed Marshmallow Cream Fluff. I love fluff. I love peanut butter and fluff sandwiches. My one daughter loves Nutella and fluff sandwiches, but... I didn't get this because we needed any. I got this, I just threw it. I I'm, I hope I caught that on camera to see how I actually let go of this. I just liked the actual jar. The jar is just super cute. It's tiny, it kind of reminds me of a mushroom. I just really love the jar. So I picked one up. Um, I'm trying to see like food wise what I got. Okay, so I got two of the kettle corn popcorners. These are some of my favorite snacks. Um, you can get a bigger bag of these, I think for like $1.99 at ShopRite or any other food store, but they were in my face as a Dollar Tree and I bought them. Um, and these will be gone in two days. I love them for one day. Um, let's see. Okay, the next thing is a huge thing of shaving cream. My daughter, Scarlett, chose to get this because she likes to make slime and sometimes she likes to make sluffy, sluffy? What the heck is sluffy? She likes to make fluffy slime and she needs shaving cream to do it. So I told her to pick up a big thing of shaving cream because she was, did I just? I don't know what's wrong with me. I dropped the shaving cream. I'm, I'm a freaking mess. Um, because she was picking smaller things and I know she'll go through it really fast or she likes to play with it in the bath. So told her to pick up a big thing of shaving cream. I picked up two more things of shaving cream because she threw these into the cart before she got the big one. And then um, I, gr I just bought them. But my husband uses this shaving cream. So I figured he can use these. These are actually pretty big for a dollar, but you can get a really big one at ShopRite for a dollar too. So um, you're spending more money on this at the Dollar Tree than you are if you went to like a regular store. But I mean, we're at the Dollar Tree. So when, when in doubt, figure it out. That makes no sense. But when in doubt, buy it. Okay. I usually buy Jergens hand soap there because it's really good for my hands. In the winter, I get really dry, cracked fingers in the winter, and any kind of soap makes my hands super, 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 super dry. So, I was looking for it, but I couldn't find any. But I did find the Lavender Vanilla Arm & Hammer Soap. I've never seen this before. It says new, and it's, 
it washes away bacteria. I mean, I would hope so. And it says soothing baking soda and aloe vera. And I just, I don't know. I haven't used this before. I use the Arm & Hammer laundry detergent. I think it's great. I also use their kitty litter. It's one of my favorites. And I just figured because I like their other stuff, why not try this stuff? Hopefully it doesn't dry my hands out at all, but you never know. It doesn't smell bad. Like you would think that it would have like a super strong scent of lavender, but it really doesn't. It smells pretty good. Okay. Next. Oh, next. Um, all right, let's do this one because I don't know what's in here. I don't remember. Oh, I did get one of these bags and it's actually kind of small. It's not a big bag. I mean, it was only a dollar, but they're only a dollar at ShopRite too. So just looks like this. I don't know how sturdy it will be or if it will break or anything, but it's a nice bright yellow and reminds me of spring. Okay, first thing I'm pulling out from here is, oh, it's a mason jar cup. And um, my daughter, Scarlett, likes mason jars. She puts like her shells or her just little trinkets in these little jars. She wanted one without a handle, but they didn't have any, so she just picked this up. I like using mason jar cups to drink out of, with or without a handle. Um, okay. She also picked out this, and it's just a glass with a top. I mean, I think that um, anything with a lid is good. If it has a lid, it's coming in my house. The next thing is this. This is just a jar with a really pretty pattern. I didn't pick this out, but I'm pretty sure my daughter did. And I don't know what it's for, but I'm sure we will find a use for it. It's pretty. Okay. The next things are, oh, I got glue. Actually, I didn't get this glue. Scarlet got this glue. And she will use it for slime because she makes slime and it was only a dollar. So we got that. The next thing is this, oh, I picked this out. I just think it's so cute. I, don't, I have no idea what this is or what it's for. I have no clue what, it, what this is for, but it has this tiny little cork in the top. Can I even show you? Yeah, it's right there. And it is so cute. It looks like a genie bottle, but like an elephant. It reminds me of an elephant. I'm not really sure why. Maybe it's the long neck or the long nose, but it also reminds me of like a vintage looking glass and I really like it. I don't know what I'm going to use it for. I was thinking maybe I could fill it with oil or vinegar. I don't know. Italian dressing and just be like, but Scarlett says it's for syrup. Maybe it is for syrup. Who knows? Maybe my kid who's 11 knows better than me. Okay. Last bag, I promise. So my youngest picked out some of these Floam beads. Oh, oh, it's open. Where is it open? Oh, it's open here, okay. Let me close it. So my daughter picked up some of these Floam beads and these are, like they say it's faux snow, but they're just, it's Floam. And she likes to put these in her slime. It will be all over my house, but they're for her slime. I gotta make sure that that doesn't get on the floor because I do not want my bunny eating them. Okay. She also picked up some of these beads. So we have glass beads. It's just all different kinds of glass beads. These, um, we have some browns and purples and periwinkle and pink. So we have these right here. These will be all over my floor too, but these go in her slime or we can make necklaces with them. Um, making necklaces is so tedious. I think my daughter would just throw this across the room, but it's a good idea. So we have these beads and then we also picked up some of these and these are just plastic beads. There's 250 of them and they come in this little container. I don't know if it's actual container inside, but these are good ones to make necklaces out of too, or just put them in whatever she's gonna do with them, slime, whatever. 
she also picked out this bath burst and I believe it's it's a flamingo so she said I know it's broken but I think it's so cute so she picked that out and oh I forgot that I got ooh, I forgot okay I also picked up a new knife because I need new knives really really badly none of my knives are um, sharp anymore so I wanted to try one of these out and just see if it actually works I really like their um, they're like big scissors that you can find in the utility section there like you can use them for meat I really like those so I thought maybe I'd try these out if it's good then I can keep it if not I'll just I'll keep it but I won't use it um, we picked out some of the hair bands I don't know if these are any good but mm, they're all right um, now we have extra hair bands I picked up two of these two packs of cups these are reusable cups and you can you know put tea or coffee or anything in them it doesn't have to be um, anything hot you can do whatever you want and it's dish it's dishwasher safe and microwave safe BPA free and you get two cups with two tops and I think they're great we have Sia Latte I don't really like the sayings on them because I just I don't know I mean it's cute but I wouldn't buy something that said see a latte but I did but I wouldn't but these are cute so I got it I would wear a shirt that said see a latte <laughs> and then this one says perk up so I thought that was really cute I got those I never saw those before at the Dollar Tree so I was really excited about it I couldn't stop myself from picking them up not that I go anywhere to use any of them, but I mean, it would be nice to have something that keeps my stuff warm in the house. Um, I got myself some treats. I picked up the Snap Bar Andy's Mint and Chocolate Bars. These are really good. I These remind me of my grandparents. When I was little, my grandparents used to have these in little jars around their house in the, during the holidays, and I used to eat tons of them. So I bought them because... I wanted them and I was hungry. I also picked up some of the Haribo passport mixes. These aren't really great. Um, they're not, they're not good. <laughs> so I don't know why I picked them up, but I did pick them up. <laughs> I was going to say like there's some, there are a few in there that I do like, but I don't like them um, a lot. Do you know what I mean? Like they're not my favorite, but some of them are good. But anyway, they're not great. But I did pick those up, so. Um, I also picked up these. I never saw these before. These are the vanilla sugar and raspberry shower steamers. And um, I think you get three. Let me, let me feel. One, two. Oh, it says three pack on there. You get three of them. See? And I was really excited because I've never seen them before. I love shower steamers. I don't, I mean, they don't last very long in the shower, but that few seconds of smellingness is wonderful. Yeah. You know what they smell like? Nothing now. The scent's gone. But um, it smelled like like an old bathroom spray. You never like have a bathroom spray that's been in your closet for like four years and you take it out and you spray it and you're like, oh, that smells old. Probably not, right? You guys probably have not kept bathroom spray for four years. I don't know why I thought I did. I may have. Maybe I did. I don't remember. But that's what it smells like. Old spray. Okay. I got two more things for the kitchen because one of them's super cute and I just wanted it because it was really cute. I don't, I mean, I'll definitely use it. It's just so adorable. I'll probably use this for eggs. So we got a miniature whisk. Look how cute that is. It is adorable. I'm so excited about this. Super excited about this. And then I got these miniature tongs. I use tongs a lot, especially if I'm making pierogies and then I take them out and, um, out of the boiling water, I'll grab them with tongs and chicken wings if I have to flip them or anything that needs a tong. I use tongs. So I got these. They're miniature ones. Um, steak in the frying pan. Pop. Anyway, pop. Um, I got extra. <clears throat> I'm choking. I got these little tiny ones and I think they're adorable and I'll use them all the time. Okay, so now let's get on to beauty because they had a lot of new beauty stuff that I've never seen before. And I was really excited. Okay, so the first thing I'm pulling out is the LA Colors Nail Polish Remover. There's 32 um, little pads in here. And I just wanted it because it's cute. 
I don't have to remove my nail polish very often because I get these little nail stickers from that subscription um, DIY nails. Okay, so now we have the LA Colors nail polish removers. There's 32 of them in here and it's just adorable. Aren't they cute? It's like this tiny little thing of nail polish remover. Have you? I haven't. And it doesn't smell like nail polish. They look pretty dry though. Maybe you have to put nail polish in there. Nail polish remover is in there. Oh, it's a little wet. Okay, so we got nail polish removers. Um, we got toenail clippers because my daughter said she can never find them. I think she's lying. I picked up the LA Colors Bold Plumps Lashes Lash Define Brush Mascara. I just love that it's travel size and it's so cute. I love mascara. It's one of my favorite things to get in all my boxes. I love getting mascara and I love trying new mascara. So even if this doesn't work great, doesn't plump your lashes, it will at least be a good, a good mascara to comb your lashes. So there we go. All right, so then I found this new brand. I don't know if it's new or not. Maybe I'm completely wrong and it's not a new brand. So I found this new brand and I want to show you guys some of the stuff. We're going to swatch it because why not? Why not? So I found some eyeshadow and blush and bronzer. I don't know if it's any good. I cannot tell you any of that yet. I just, this is a new brand that I found. It's called Beauty Benefits. And the first one I'm going to show you is Long Lasting Illuminating Glow. It's in the shade Apricot Glow and it's a highlighter. And so here we go. I, I mean, they do sell a lot of the um, LA colors there. There's some e.l.f. brushes. They do have some Wet n' Wild, but not a lot. It's like the colors, the lipstick colors that you find from e.l.f. or from Wet n' Wild are the ones that like don't sell. So I think that's why they're there. Here is the Apricot Glow Highlighter. It's really pretty. So let's see. There it is on my finger. And there it is. I mean, it's not like the worst thing ever. I'm sure it will build up. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty. That would be a really nice natural highlight, you know? Do you up? Yeah, that's really pretty. Do you up? Okay. Um, the next thing is this. This is the bronzer by Beauty Benefits, and it's in the shade Warm Cocoa. Blendable, buildable, color designed to deliver a sun-kissed glow. The other ones looked really orange, so I didn't want to pick those, but this one didn't look that bad. Have any of you guys used this brand or seen it before? I haven't seen it. No, I haven't. Never, ever. I've never, ever seen this brand. All right, so this is a shimmer. This might be pretty as an eyeshadow. Because I don't really use shimmer bronzers on my, oh, it's very dry, on my face. So there it is on my finger. This is really dry. And that's, I mean, it's more like a highlighter, to be honest. There it is. Can you guys see it? It's right there. It's more of a highlight than a bronzer, but I mean, maybe I'll do a full face of powders from this company. This is the, oh, I threw out the, okay. This is blendable, buildable, color designed to deliver a rosy, healthy glow. And this is in the shade Pink Orchid. I didn't really like the other shades. Like they had one that was like peach, but like peach, peach. Um, this was like the only pink, the only pink shade. I do like it, it's very pretty. Not a lot of color payoff. There it is. Yeah, I don't even think I can swatch it because it's not. So there it is, right there. I mean, you would have to build the heck out of that. And it's just, it won't be worth it because you have like other blushes that with one little brush, you can get so much pigment off. Okay, so the blush is a, is a no-go. Okay, so then I picked up three of the eyeshadows, and these are the only shades that I 
um, decided to pick up because I didn't see any other shades that I would personally grab for. But I figured if these are good, you could build your own little cute palette. It says blendable color with smooth application, perfect to wear alone or mix with other colors to create the look. So this one's Purple Ice, and again, this is by Beauty Benefits. And maybe these, maybe you can pop these out and put these in a Z palette. Purple Ice. I wonder if this will be good. Let's see. Very dry. There it is on my pinky. Oh, that's awful. It's like chunky chunks, like really, really chunky. You can see how it is in the pan. It just comes off as chunks. And this is my third swipe of it, just to make some color. It's pretty, but it's not pretty. I mean, it's not like a good shimmer. So, all right, let's try the next one. This one is Happy Coral. I don't see coral in this at all, but... What's up, Dee? Yeah. But that's what the name is, Happy Coral. There it is. This would be a pretty blush. Well, this one's a little bit better. This one feels nice and smooth. It's right there. Yeah, it does feel a lot better. This one is much nicer. So there it is right there. It's two. I did two little swatches on it. There was no chunk. There was nothing weird about it. Um, I mean, it's not like super pigmented, but it's better than the other one. And it feels really soft. I'll definitely use this as like a transition shade. Last but not least is this, and this is the Deep Plum. You guys, their colors are so messed up because this is, I'm not lying. Can you see? It says Deep Plum. Deep Plum. Okay? That is the shade name. Please tell me. Maybe they meant Rotten Plum. I think that's what they meant. Rotten Plum. Because this is brown. <laughs> it's peach. That is not... Plum. Isn't plum purple? You would think that plum would be... Maybe it is mixed up. Maybe this is happy coral and this is plum. Right? Because that would be more of a plum and this would be more of a coral. Maybe it is messed up. Um, you can't really see it. It's right there. Just a light wash of not plum. Nope. It says prune fonts. I don't know. All right, guys. So those are the things that I picked up at the beauty section in the Dollar Tree. I got these three eyeshadows, the blush, the highlighter. I did like the highlighter and the bronzer, which I can use as an eyeshadow. And I can definitely use the highlighter and I can definitely use this eyeshadow as a base shade or transition and I can use the soft purple shade as a transition shade too so I'm, I mean I didn't like just a few things I couldn't use but the rest of the stuff I bought because I'll definitely use it um, let me know what you guys get at your Dollar Tree does your Dollar Tree have these cute little cups do they have um the cute little baby tongs. Let me know do, what kind of beauty stuff do you have in your Dollar Tree. I am very curious to find out what you guys have in yours. And that is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and listening to me talk and just chat and be all over the place. These are my favorite kind of videos to do, to just sit down and talk and not have to like open up a box and focus on a box. I like to not focus on anything because... I can never focus on anything. But, all right, guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you guys are having a really great weekend. I love you guys so, so much. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.